hypermetropia, or farsightedness, is a common eye condition. As medical students, it's important to understand this condition. In this video, we will cover hypermetropia's mechanism, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options, including surgeries and contact lenses. By exploring these aspects, we'll gain a better understanding of this refractive error, helping us diagnose and manage it effectively in our future medical practice. Hypermetropia, also known as hyperopia, is a common refractive error that affects near vision. It occurs when the eyeball is too short or the cornea is not curved enough. This causes light entering the eye to focus behind the retina instead of directly on it, resulting in blurry vision. Understanding the causes and effects of hypermetropia is crucial for managing visual acuity and exploring corrective options. In a hypermetropic eye, the refractive power is weak, leading to difficulty focusing on near objects. This happens because the light rays entering the eye focus behind the retina instead of on it. Hypermetropia can be caused by a shorter eye length or a cornea that is not curved enough. These mechanical issues result in blurred near vision. Understanding this mechanism is important for diagnosing and managing hypermetropia effectively. In hypermetropia, the lens of the eye plays a significant role in accommodation to achieve clear vision at different distances. The ciliary muscles have to work harder to adjust focus, causing the lens to become more curved for near vision. However, in hypermetropia, the refractive power of the eye is insufficient, resulting in blurred vision. Increased accommodation is necessary to compensate for the lack of refractive power, leading to symptoms and discomfort. Hypermetropia, or farsightedness, manifests as eye fatigue, headaches, and blurred vision when performing tasks up close. Mild cases may not affect vision significantly. Diagnosis entails a thorough eye examination, assessing visual acuity, determining corrective lens requirements, and evaluating the eye's focusing ability. Accurate diagnosis is vital for effective treatment. Understanding the classification of hypermetropia is crucial for accurate diagnosis. Diopters are used to measure refractive errors. Hypermetropia is classified based on the magnitude of the refractive error, measured in diopters. Mild hypermetropia ranges from plus 0.50 to plus 2.00 d, while moderate hypermetropia falls between plus 2.25 and plus 5.00 d. Severe hypermetropia is anything greater than plus 5.00 d. This classification helps determine appropriate corrective measures for patients. We will discuss this further in subsequent topics. Presbyopia, an age-related vision problem, causes difficulty in focusing on nearby objects. Adding to this challenge, individuals with hypermetropia, or farsightedness, struggle with near vision. In our upcoming segment, we will discuss the intricacies of treating this combined issue. Join us for an in-depth exploration of effective treatment methods for addressing the dual challenge of hypermetropia and presbyopia. Hypermetropia, also known as farsightedness, can be treated using bifocal and multifocal lenses. Bifocals are ideal for individuals with both hypermetropia and presbyopia, enabling clear vision at different distances. They allow easy switching between near and far vision. Multifocal lenses offer multiple focus points for distant, intermediate, and close distances. Understanding the principles, advantages, and limitations of these lenses is crucial for achieving the best visual results in hypermetropic patients. In a brief video about hypermetropia, we'll now discuss hypermetropic astigmatism, which occurs when farsightedness is combined with astigmatism. This condition arises from an irregular cornea or lens, causing difficulties in focusing. Both near and distant vision may be blurry or distorted. Understanding the causes and effects helps in accurately diagnosing and treating hypermetropic astigmatism, topics we'll delve deeper into next. Diagnosing and managing hypermetropic astigmatism is often more challenging than addressing simple hypermetropia. Accurate measurements of refractive errors, such as corneal topography, are essential. Deciphering the magnitude and axis of astigmatism allows for the precise prescription of corrective lenses to provide optimal visual acuity. Surgical interventions, such as astigmatic keratotomy, can also be considered in specific cases. Understanding the complexities associated with hypermetropic astigmatism ensures accurate diagnosis and effective treatment strategies. Accommodative esotropia is a type of strabismus where the eyes deviate inward due to excessive accommodation. Hypermetropia, or farsightedness, often leads to accommodative esotropia as the eyes strain to focus on nearby objects. Recognizing the connection between hypermetropia and accommodative esotropia helps with early diagnosis and appropriate treatment to prevent complications like amblyopia. We will discuss the various approaches to managing accommodative esotropia in future topics. Hypermetropia, or farsightedness, can be treated surgically with LASIK, PRK, and clear lens extraction, CLE. LASIK uses a laser to reshape the cornea, improving vision. 
PRK is for individuals with thin corneas or unsuitable for LASIK, involving removing the outer cornea layer before reshaping. Clear lens extraction replaces the natural lens with an artificial one. Surgeons consider age, corneal thickness, and ocular conditions to minimize complications like infection and retinal detachment. In this quick video, we'll discuss the use of contact lenses for managing hypermetropia, farsightedness. We'll touch upon different types of lenses, stress the significance of regular checkups and maintaining proper hygiene while wearing them. Ensuring accurate assessment and fitting by a qualified professional is essential. Remember, it's crucial to consult a professional to determine suitability and adhere to guidelines for safe and effective vision correction.